Hello and welcome to Brandon Socket. Please hit subscribe, do like, share, and comment. In this video, we're talking about the middle portion of the opportunity timeline. Why would you use these two? Great scenario. You're on your home dashboard as you're working away. As mentioned in previous videos, you always want to work from your home dashboard. And you are walking around the showroom having a coffee and a previous customer or a customer that you're working, let's say, let's pretend it's, it's Raiden Alexander. He walks through the front door and says, hey, uh, I know I came in and demoed, can I get some numbers? So no appointment, no phone call, just showed up out of the blue. So you can find Raiden by either searching a customer um, or going through your opportunities, assuming you remember that you have an open opportunity. Again, this list might be 40, 50, 30, 100. I don't know how many opportunities you're gonna have, but <clears throat> you might find them in there. If you're not search sure, <clears throat> pardon me, again, just hit the search button and you can search your customer. In this case, we'll hit search just so you can see how it's done and how easy it is. I just enter the first few letters of the first name, <clears throat> first few letters of the last name, and Dealer Socket does the rest. Click Raiden. Ah, uh, yes, here's the opportunity. Last updated, let's say it said 35 days ago. And so because he came in, we have no future tasks, and we have to tell the system that he went to a write-up status. So we're going to log a store visit. So that's how we would use this log portion. We just find customers and log our actions. So we're going to log, you know, log a store visit. <clears throat> During the store visit, did you do any of the following? Uh, we demoed again. We wrote up, and that was it. Uh, waiting until the weekend to come. They did meet manager, so I'm going to hit turn. Okay. <clears throat> hit save it's going to give me this prompt because i've been doing something today with it so i'm just going to go yes save task anyway it moves this customer to a write-up portion and i'm going to do a follow-up phone call as mentioned in a previous video and we're going to log it for friday to set time and that's it that's that's using the log a store visit now the only time, you know, you typically would schedule a phone call and complete it as an outbound, but you might have this customer call in and same same steps, you would search the customer, you'd find the opportunity, you would log an inbound, spoke to customer or they left a message, All right? Left me a voicemail regarding numbers. Okay, this is just, this is sort of next level. If you're gonna log your inbound phone call that you missed it on the inbound, hit save <clears throat> and then you're gonna you're gonna leave that task there and maybe you try him back this time you end up speaking to the customer okay so then it completes it so it just enables you to leave that task if you got a voicemail and you don't have the actual time to do the call right now you can still schedule it so you see it in your head you don't have to remember it right now um, the other way to do that is uh, let's can't let's get rid of this activity so it's I'll just go through another scenario you don't have the ability to do that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna log a phone call. It was inbound. We did speak. Talked about numbers coming in Saturday. When you save it, you would then schedule your appointment. There is other tasks for log, but I don't think there's anything that really, like you wouldn't log a send email because when you send an email, it does it automatically. You wouldn't log an other, you wouldn't log an update your event or a send email or a send text. Because when you, <clears throat> when you send a text, it logs the note. When you send an email, it creates and completes a, uh, an email. When you actually pick up the phone at some stores too, you might want to double check. When you pick up the phone and make a phone call based on your extension, and the phone number you call, it may create and complete an activity for you as well. So just double check your CTI, call tracking integration at your dealership. Anyway, that's the main portion of the log section of Opportunity Timeline. Again, like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.